Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 3 current luxury wishlist items. So I only have 3 luxury wishlist items for this year as well as next year. Yep, <laughs> it's an ongoing one and I've just streamlined it all. I don't really have a lot of pieces that I'm like eyeing for. I really just want to keep it to 3 items and I want to make it like a milestone piece, like I want a purchase when I've achieved a certain milestone. It could be in my career, it could be in my personal life. It has to be something that I need to work forward to, to deserve it. I just don't want to buy it just like that. I want to make it like a memorable purchase. The very first item would be, and it's in no particular order, it would be my Chanel 19. Yes. I love the Chanel 19 bag. Whenever I go to Chanel Boutique, I would always gravitate to the Chanel 90 bag. However, I've never ever thought about getting that bag yet because I've always got other priorities on my wish list. The Chanel 19 bag is definitely a bag that I love. I love the whole design. I love the whole edginess, the casualness of the bag and it's just almost like a fast free bag as well. I'll probably use the bag when I'm going to work or probably going shopping or wherever. I particularly love the black Chanel 19 piece. I'm more of a structured bag person but when I saw the Chanel 19 and when it just got launched and was first launched I was like and when I saw it I was like hmm this is not really my kind of bag like I was but it, it just took some time getting used to and the more I try it on and I love the Chanel 19 in the, in the small size I'm thinking whether I should consider getting the medium size but I just love the small size and yeah I just love it I can definitely just see myself using for a long time to come I think the price for a small Chanel 19 costs about seven thousand ish and I think the price would increase really soon as well so yep that's my very first wish list item. The second item on my wish list would be my the Cleef Gold bracelet. I'll probably leave the name right here. I love this piece. It's a great stacking piece. Gold pieces and rose gold pieces like I currently have my um, love bracelet from Katia and I plan to use the gold uh, Van Cleef bracelet over here and it's just like a second piece next to my watch. So yes, like that's really a piece that I've been eyeing for the longest time. It costs about 8,000-ish Singapore dollars as well. So it's, it's, it's not a cheap, I mean it's not an, it's definitely an expensive item. It's definitely an item that I'm not gonna just spend my money on and money just doesn't grow on trees for me. I want the whole purchase to be a, an experience. I want it to be like a milestone achievement. Why I love the Van Cleef bracelet is because it's full gold. I don't need to fuss around the pearl, the diamond. Like I don't need to get like, I'm actually weighing whether I like the mother of pearl one or the gold one, but I actually have like, um, also like a, a Van Cleef Mother of Pearl here and it's a really small dainty one. I thought okay you know maybe I should get like a Mother of Pearl as well but I just feel like I'm very drawn to the gold one because it's so shiny, it's gold, it is sparkly, it is gorgeous and when I first saw it I didn't really, I really didn't like it. I was like mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but when I just gone to the store a few times, it just like kept growing on me. I kept thinking about it whenever I'm going to Van Cleef, when I, whenever I'm walking past Van Cleef, I'm like thinking about it. Why? Like, I shouldn't be shopping, right? Like, if I really love that place so much, I need to make this like a milestone purchase, a milestone achievement for me to deserve that piece. The third piece would be a new addition to my wish list, and that would be a Just On Clue bracelet. I love the gold one. Yeah, I love the gold one with the diamonds and I love the thicker one. Like I actually tried this, the, the skinnier version that's really flexible gold and I just felt that's really thin and tiny on my wrist. Like I feel that 
I feel that I want to have a bit more of a thicker version <laughs> and I like the gold one. Should I get a gold one or silver one? But I really, I'm really kind of eyeing the gold piece. There's like a few pieces like the Lueve puzzle bag that I love. Um, there's like a white bag in Lueve that I love as well. But I'm not putting it on my wish list because I really want to streamline my, my wish list items. I'm not sure when I'm ever going to get it yet, but it's definitely um, it's definitely a focus and a goal for me to work towards getting these pieces once I achieve a milestone in my career or my personal life as well. So I'm very curious to know what would be your milestone pieces? What would be items that's on your wish list and you just absolutely love so much and you just want to have self-care and indulge yourself with these beautiful things and they're all material things right i mean they're all stuff and things but i personally think that you should spend on yourself i personally think that luxury should be enjoyed luxury shouldn't be a thing where it consumes you every single day to the point where you lose touch with your family, your friends, um, or memories, or, or just moments that you have with your family or your friends. Like, I feel that luxury should be enjoyed, it should be indulged, it should be experienced, and life is very short. So let me know in the comment section down below what would be your current wishlist items as well. It could be luxury items or it could be any other things, it doesn't have to be luxury, right? I mean, it could be also could be like a mass fashion brand, but I'm really interested to know what yours would be. So stay tuned for more if you enjoy watching such videos and I will see you soon. Stay safe. Bye.